Hello, girls and boys. Uh, Art of Wisdom speaking. Um, today we are reviewing the latest update of Autoplay. Uh, version is 161. Um, changed a bit of stuff in there. Um, first thing is uh, after a suggestion from Data, uh, add the possibility of uh, having bidirectional transposition uh, in terms of the pitch. Uh, the previous version was only transposing upward. So now um, you have the possibility to do some uh, bidirectional one. And second one is uh, something else with regards to uh, modulation and we'll check that later. Uh, so let's get on to it. So here's where I stand now. I got a small project, just uh, something to get us going. Uh, just a basic kick bass as usual. It's better to have uh, a foundation to have your track and to play with it. So this is, let's just listen to it. Pretty simple, kick bass, close and open hats, and there we go. So we have something to work on. Um, here we have an FM lead, uh, I've taken that out of uh, Shep's Mute Productions. Um, preset packs, uh, it's a very nice uh, FM lead. So let's uh, hear what it does. On this one, I uh, just changed a bit of stuff. It's very rich already, but I've added um, just some modulation uh, on the. Uh, so just let's put some. Oh, just a, let, let's have a look at the at the macros first. So we have here the first the first the four macros which have been uh, put by Shep. Um, I've mapped that today to the 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 this faders in my uh, summit. So let's check what it does. So first one is the cutoff. There's a bit of delay on the track also, but just a ping pong delay to have some groove going on. Second one is uh, the amount of FM, so see it's following there. Third one is uh, playing more on the timbre of the uh, of the uh, FM, so it's working basically on the uh, on the warp mode here, here, so it's changing a bit of the timbre of the FM. You gotta put some FM to, to hear it. And the final one, which is uh, uh, the one I like the most, is the juices one, which uh, adds some juice. Much more uh, rich, uh, richer sound. So. Okay, uh, on top of that, I'll just add a bit of. Um, modulation on the velocity, uh, not because the initial patch lacks it, but uh, because uh, Autoplay is, uh, send, is sending also some information on velocity, so we should definitely use it. So I put on the drive, so I have something with a bit juicier. Same on the fat, and uh, I think we can also play a bit. Um, let's add a bit of FM, but not too much, just a sh slight bit. Of FM on the velocity, so so the ve incoming velocity will also have an impact on the FM amount, and so it will change a bit a bit more. Okay, so let's hear what it does now. So when I play with velocity, short low velocity, and if I press harder, then it it opens up a bit. Okay, let's close this patch. Um, here we have just a basic one. Uh, one one note playing on C2, and uh, let's add it to play and activate it. So for now, just uh, lens no processing, just a uh, half lens, velocity no processing, and no transposition at all. Okay, no nothing is moving for the moment. Let's add some groove on velocity. Just uh, halfway, something like that. A bit of groove also on the on the lens. Okay, 
That's already better. Let's play a bit with the pitch processing. Um, so let's say half of the note will be transposed and for now it's just upward so we'll just transpose up to one octave so if i put nothing here then it's only playing the incoming note so the first uh, for the fundamental so it's gonna play c2 and c3 only If I change that and ask for upward and downward, then we're gonna have C2, C3, and C1 playing. Pretty simple, I mean, it's just a straightforward uh, parameter. Um, now let's see what I have, I have else. Let's remove the transpose and see what we have on this more button. Um, here, what I've done is I've taken um, a, some stuff that I, that I did for auto-modulate. If you know, uh, auto-modulate is uh, just like auto-play, but only uh, working on modulations and not sending any notes. So it's uh, useful to, uh, to auto-modulate any parameter in, within live. Here, uh, I'm using the same type of, of mapping. So let's say I'm going to map this first one to micro one and the second one to the juice one. Again, so micro one is controlling the cutoff and micro four is the juice. Um, no change on the minimum and maximum value. So say I want that range to be uh, using full range of the macro. Same for the juice. Um, the curve will have an impact on a directivity of the uh, of the modulation is changing the modulation from linear to something else it can be logarithmic or exponential so if you if you, if you don't feel free to ask to ask any question on that but uh, it's basically uh, controlling the uh, transformation uh, function uh, between the modulation origin and the target target uh, parameter but uh, not it's not the subject of today so what do we have here? I have the first one is the rest rest value, which is the the value where um, the uh, modulated parameter will stay where no note is playing. So let's say 25% here. And then each time a, a note will play, uh, the targeted parameter will uh, be chosen between the min and max value. And so the modulation will be sent to get to that value. So for example here, uh, we are resting at 25% and each time a note plays the modulated macro, the macro will go uh, in at one, one value between 17 and 63. The smooth parameter controls the ramp time between the rest value and the, and the target value and also for the for getting back to the rest value after the note has, has been played. It's pretty simple, so let's listen to that. <laughs> Pretty simple to use, nothing, no big deal when uh, doing doing that. It's a really simple uh, feature yet uh, effective because uh, you can uh, control uh, with the step sequencer the modulation. Uh, you could uh, try and do that uh, using the LFOs or the envelope uh, follower, MIDI envelope follower from live. Uh, this way it's a bit simpler because it's the actual autoplay which knows exactly when a MIDI note will be outputted and will send the, the info. So it's uh, 
that simple. Okay, that was uh, also play the less, latest update, 1.6.1. And thanks for uh, watching this video and feel free to uh, comment out this, uh, comment my video and, uh, and send your request in case you need for something else because uh, I'm always happy to add new features to my devices. Thanks for attention. Take care, bye.